Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Play Steel Rising. Uh, we, uh, I, not we, I made a goof. I, I've been making lots of goofs, um, but <laughs> I was corrected by kneeling. Uh, actually, he had to leave a couple of comments before I noticed that I was using the wrong in-air dash in order to get to some of those harder to reach areas. It's not jump and then simply dash as if I was dodging. It is actually the same move that I do on the ground to attack enemies, but you do it in the air. So I jump and do the dash and it's significantly longer. I was actually using this this uh, this poor dead body as a test. I would run, jump at his feet, do a regular dash, and I would land right here, okay? However, if I do the same thing and then do that actual, what, Aegis or Selenite movement, something like that, jump, and then that, it's pretty significant. So that would definitely close some of the, those gaps. So kneeling, thank you for uh, pointing that out and I'm glad I finally got around to recognizing it. I did find a couple of items in some of the barrels as I was actually just testing that out, but I just wanted to speak to the survivor. I was wondering if maybe after killing the Titan here in the city that maybe they'd have more dialogue or maybe a reward for me? How did they die? Steel and fire, madame. We didn't stand a chance. And our wretched commanders must have known it. They saw what that gigantic automat was capable of, yet they let him cross the bridge and didn't sound the retreat. The only reason I'm still alive is that I'm a spineless coward. I couldn't help myself. My legs carried me here, where I hid, motionless. And it was from here that I witnessed the massacre. That creature, a parody of a cardinal, nothing could stop it. Soldiers and volunteers alike were mown down like sheaves of wheat. Okay, but I, I did stop it. Monsieur. I vanquished the creature that wiped out the National Guard. Oh, so Single-handed. You've done what an entire battalion was unable to do. For now, I urge you to stay in your hiding place. It's not safe out here yet. Oh, don't you worry about that. You won't see little Francois out on the streets anytime soon. Ha <laughs> ha, a hero. Can you imagine? Okay, so I was able to tell him that I vanquished it, but didn't get anything out of it. Maybe I'm just being a little greedy. Anyway, what are we going to work on today? We're going to be looking for the Abbey Gregoire's notes from the Châtelet. Okay, what am I going to be using? I have switched over to the glass core batons, trying to immobilize and freeze. I know it's not the best Im immobilization, and I could always use the gun to freeze, but wanted to play around with them a bit more. But we're definitely going to be trying the volley mallet. That is going to be the name of the game today, because I don't even know... What prison is at the other it does. end of the Pont en Change. This grappling hook will be very useful. Alright, so now we actually get to explore using the grapple. Not there though. <laughs> that should be pretty fun. Using the dash just because I can. Just because I've, you know, learned that that's the correct way to actually to get out of here quick. try it out. We're in mm -hmm. grave danger. These machines have neither heart nor mind. No mercy can be expected from them. And where do you hope to find refuge, mon cher voisin? The enemy is everywhere, and they take no prisoners. Can I speak to either of you? No, just a little bit of passive dialogue, okay. Alright, big guy. Time to try it out on you. Oh! Oh, I'm sorry, we can use this in combat. The bishop's hook can also be used in combat. When Aegis fires it at an enemy, the target receives Fulmination Damage. Okay. So, but it doesn't actually, like, grapple me to it, or does it? No, but that's some decent buildup. Alright, let's try it. Um, so, really good immobilization there, but, uh... Not really sure that it actually, you know, stuns them, kind of like it says. Oh, heads up. And again. Oh, no. He brought a friend. And that friend has some range attacks. I would like to finish you off, simply because I've already started it. Oh, right. Remember when they can hurt each other? Let's maybe work on that then. Come on now. 
Uh, you don't do a whole lot of damage to him, though. All right, how about a little mallet volley? Okay, that's all right, because that's going to finish him off. Nice. Also, this is pretty cool. If I can actually get the endurance back, I found out I can do a lot of air attacks in once. I can actually do two light attacks and a heavy attack, as long as I have the stamina to do it. So let's see if I can do it. One, two, and nope. I'm just going to take, take damage. All right, well, finish him off. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be trying to get so fancy. Okay. So, pretty cool. Really good immobilization buildup, it seems. In fact, does it say how much it does? Immobilization? It only says 30. That's interesting. Maybe on the smaller one it would interrupt it more. Although I tried it on the smaller one. It didn't really seem to do anything special. Now, should I be jumping over here? Hey, we actually got it. Look at that. A few frost grenades, why not? And... Nice. Okay. Yeah. I'm liking this, uh, this new weapon. Where did you even just come from? Okay, come on. Give me... Give me a little bit of, uh, balance here. So where am I? Am I just jumping back over this carriage? That yeah, oh yeah, because there's a box here. Perfect. Could go up here. Well, let's go through first. Well, you saw the partner collapse into the same just as well as I did. Just kidding. This is the exact same place. I don't. I don't need to uh, talk to those guys. Squabble again. I'm very happy I managed to escape with my life. So maybe this is where I'm supposed to do one of these long. Aha! All right, May that might not even have been possible with my previous way of doing it. Okay. Do a short one there. Oh, this is... Oh, don't ever do this. Come on. These, these games are not known for their platforming. Don't try to make them so. Is that actually all I'm supposed to be coming out here for? I think so. So maybe I need to... Well, I see enemies down there. Hold on. Before we do that... Can I make that? And is there any reason to make that? I don't see any items. I'm going to go with no. I'm going to go with I don't need to go that way. So, that means we need to go down. So one flame weapon wielding enemy just over there. Oh, there is. There's the grapple. I guess that's if I were to fall down, but instead we want to go this way, right? Let's uh, take a look at the compass. That ah, compass is actually showing that way. Okay. Should I? I guess I can hop down. I wonder, can the, uh-oh. Okay, that one didn't see me. I wonder if the grapple can break down. Oh, okay, never mind. I didn't actually need to do anything special to break those down. Oh, how fun. Sorry, didn't even realize you were there. That's really cool. Oh, nice kick. Oh, come on. Okay, maybe I should, uh... Maybe I should switch to the batons for a little bit. Why not, right? Okay. Oh! Just... Just rude. Come on. Ah, almost had him frozen. But he died, so I guess, <laughs> guess I can't be too upset. Break all the things here. Oh, there's one item. Good. And... Okay. 
so what do I what am I supposed to do here? Uh nothing? Unless there's a hidden door behind that, there's not. So what doesn't look like there was any reason to come into the sewers yet, except for that those couple items. Alright, well let's leave. And we'll... Ah, oh, we gotta go take that guy out then. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna do it way down there, that's for sure. Unless I go rush that other guy. You haven't seen me. Come on. Get the red. There we go. Oh, that was perfect. Right, you just kill yourself. You know what, though? I think that was worth it. Okay. Watch it. Oh, hey, that works for me. And how about one of these to finish it? Oh, that is, that is such a cool weapon. It really is. Kudos on this one. That is cool. And I need a tool, right? I need a tool. Um, I assume that's... No. Nothing. Not a tool I have. I do want to break this, though. Why not? Take it out. Good. What is it? I haven't used any of those. I'm kind of collecting them. So... Alright. 59 meters. So, yeah, we are heading in the right... Direction. Got a new Vestal. The Grand Chatelet. We have enough for a level up. I wish we had enough for an upgrade though, because I'd like to upgrade that, that mallet. I suppose maybe I have enough if I sell one Valiant Spirit. <laughs> Never mind. No, we definitely don't because, well actually, what, I only need one bronze ingot? Correct, I think. So if I go to my upgrades, yeah, we can do that. That's a pretty significant jump too. So we'll do that. Module slots, I only have one key and that's about all she wrote there. But you know what I'm gonna do, hopefully do, I am gonna buy some oil. Ooh. I hope at some point those restock. <laughs> Cause I'm, I'm going through them far too quickly. Okay, let's see. Anything worth exploring around here? Okay. Now, I don't want to waste a whole lot on you just because I know you're just going to explode. Watch it. Okay. I don't think you can get back up here, so I am totally fine with you being stuck down there. There is another one. Any chance I can get a sneak attack on you, though? Let's deal with you. Oh, you know what? Let's start looking up. I wonder. Are you that dumb? Yeah. Yeah, you are. Ha! I am okay with that. Yeah, I just love it. He's down there. He's all mad. I doubt I'm going to be able to get the drop on this one. But I will try. Darn. <laughs> Once again, foiled. Okay, I want to invoke... Okay. Yep. Okay. We got away from... Oh, got to remember that dash. That dash actually would have been pretty handy there. Okay. I know that there's a grapple point up there, but definitely have a shiny right here. Essence of a Noble Spirit. Happily take that. All right. So. Grapple on up. Oh, what do we have here? 
we have flame resistant module and a module key. I, I don't really care about the resistance modules. It's you know it's it's defensive. It's not my it's not my cup of tea. All right, kind of creepy. I'm gonna guess there's an item right in that barrel. Sure is. Who? I call shenanigans. No one saw me. Maybe someone hurt. Okay. I'm gonna try and freeze you. You had to lead with that, huh? Okay. Come on. Oh, almost frozen. Oh, no. Um, hey, remember the time you're almost dead, though? Come on. No! Oh. <laughs> I didn't think it would do that much damage. I tried to risk it. I, I didn't try to risk it. I did risk it, and it, it didn't go well. Okay, well, on that note... Can I avoid you? No. Oh, jeez. Okay. Now, do you want to explode? Yes, you do. Perfect. Well, let's grab what you dropped. Yeah, that was just me playing dumb. Okay, do you see the bag over there that I can get? Here's what we're going to do, though. We're just going to ignore big guy for now. Oh my! Remember the time he's just doing an absolute ton of damage? Oh no. I do not want him down there. The big guy hasn't actually noticed me yet though. Oh, even better. You want to come back up? but all the way. There we go. So I might, I might be able to actually get the drop on the big guy. Not the drop, but actually a... Oh, do I even want to kill him? Yes. I want to just see if I can freeze him, really, is what I want to do. Nope. Watch it. Watch the... Oh, he's almost frozen. Oh, I'm almost dead, though, again. There we go. Okay, now switch. And one more. And then a heavy. Yeah, that's... That's how you do it. Abuse those freezes. Okay. Probably not worth it for the loot, but... I don't know, felt wrong leaving him alive, right? After he killed me, didn't I have some sort of moral obligation to kill him back? Okay, do the long dash instead of the short one from now on. That almost felt like I wasn't going to make it. All right, not another resistance module. How's that? Repra uh, replacement lever. Is that going to be a quest? It's not a quest item. So what is that for? I guess I'll just know it when I see it. Hmm. That seems so far. Oh, but I I got magna hands. Oh, there's an item there. That's mean. Well, I mean it's not too far from where I am, so Perfect. Good fall damage too. All right. Well, let's Go try that again. Okay. Uh, 
Damn, it's actually probably easier to j Whoa! What? No, no. Oh, that was rude. Okay. Can we get behind you? Stop it. <laughs> Good, I guess. I just... Will you just blow up? I'm just kind of waiting for him to decide to do it. Good. Is that enough? Yep. Perfect. Thank you for that. Uh, tell you what, actually, let's go clear this spot over here. Well, let's get this. I know, you know, I haven't even checked this door, but I do assume it's going to be blocked, right? Oh, no, it's not going to be blocked. This is where, ha, huh, look at that. This is where the repl uh, replacement lever went. There's a, ve a Vestal? Really? Another Vestal right over there. But okay. Hmm. All right. Well, let's let's activate it. I don't think I'm gonna rest yet. I'm hoping activating it's enough to set my spawn point. So you do want me to go up there, but I'm, I want to explore. Except. Oh, I can't get up there. Watch the endurance. And I got the kill just before I got the mobilization. Oh. Okay. So I can get up there first. Anything hiding? New. Oh, this actually might be where the notes are because this is a clerk's office. This makes sense. Also, a couple of notes. Let's go this one over here. To all clerk employees, by order of the king, I ask each of you to provide the Comte de la Cagliostro with your unconditional cooperation and to provide him with anything he may wish to take away or consult. The Rode de Crosne. Right. How about this one? Got the notes. Can I not even read the notes? <laughs> Unless they're just part of the quest items. Yes, they are. These notes written by Abbe Gregoire at the behest of Monsignor de la Far contain considerations on alchemy and the activities of the Comte de Cagliostro. They are as arcane as they are complex, and understanding them would require sound scientific and theological background. The Holy See will decide on whether or not to excommunicate them after learning their content. So now I'm supposed to return those. Fine. But not before we explore. A little bit. Oh, that seems easier to get to from here. Especially because I think... Oh, oh, oh. And, and Noble Spirit. Decent enough. So with that being said... Hmm. Was there any reason to continue exploring the rooftop? I will. Oh, I have to. I have to go pretty far. That's not what I wanted. Wrong button combination. Uh, tell you what. Let's start healing up. Okay. There's an item up there. Oh, I see. So it actually just led over here anyway. But now I can go. Oh, jeepers! That was close. Warrior spirit, that seems nice. Can I grab? <clears throat> I was uh, truly hoping I would have been able to grab that. Oh well, that's alright. I won't have to heal. I can just go straight to the Vestal now. And that might be enough if I use the essences that I've collected, right? So we'll just sell them. That should be enough for a level, yeah? Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, I'm thinking durability. 
at some point I need my health to go up a little bit. But then again, my alchemy. I love the alchemy. <laughs> I don't even know what this does. I, I guess the affliction multiplier is nice. Mm, I mean, empower such a gem. I'm going to go al elemental. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Even though my one of my new favorite weapons, the mallet, I don't think scales at all off of that. And can I... No, gate is locked. Oh, another note. Sire, I understand your concerns regarding the longevity of your most illustrious of armies given the present trouble. However, I assure you that the science that drives them is no longer merely experimental. With the Vestals in strategic position throughout the city, as long as there are sufficient casualties and with a revolutionary rabble and revolt, I rather doubt there won't be. Your mechanical soldiers will have all the energy they require to crush this treasonous insurrection. Wow. I, it, I guess, you know, they're using the bodies to create and to repair the automats, which, hey, you know, reduce, reuse, recycle. Citizens' trousers and citizens' clogs. Judging by just how they look, I'm gonna... I'm gonna take a pass at that. Okay, compass time. Okay, that way. However... I do believe this is a, an area I've been at before, right? Oh, thank goodness for magnet hands. I would not have... Oh, 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 get inside, get inside. Okay. Are you a, are you a nice one? You might be. Turn around. Oh. Okay. All right. Oh, whoops. Kind of forgot that I also can be frozen. You know what? Now it's time. And again. That's so fun. So satisfying. Definitely one of the game's strongest points is the weapon diversity. Ugh, not the revelers. Okay, fine. Come on. Huh? Come this way. Oh, there's another one. Tell you what, since they're just gonna dance the night away, I am going to... I got these improved flame grenades? Yeah, I wanna set them on fire. Oh. So that was terrible, and I wasted all Okay, not, not entirely awful, because, oh, you now have, like, armor? Okay. Do you freeze? Yes, you do. You freeze really easily. I'm going to do a couple of hits here, maybe even three, and then I'm going to go right into a set. You're using, like, these, uh-oh. How about again? Not again, but we'll use that. Oh, that was really nice. And you know what? I'm just gonna... I'm not hitting him. Uh-oh. Okay, so you've got all sorts of new tricks here. Not bad. Not bad. I wish I didn't waste a whole lot of grenades that just kind of phase through them. The grenades need so much work. Okay, Reveler up there. Anything else hiding, though, in this courtyard? 
cast iron. Okay, but I need way more bronze alloy. Okay, how are we looking for our objective? I'm gonna go that way, huh? Well, not going directly there, that's for sure. Okay, that's all right. You don't freeze well, that's for sure. And you don't immobilize easily either. All right, well then we'll just have to, uh, you know, use that on you. Oh, that almost uh, actually has you immobilized. I'm gonna do it again. Yep, okay. I love that. <laughs> I love that. And what is the plan here then? Up and over? Really? I kind of... S Wait, no, because that's where the citizens' clothes were, so that's not where I want to go. Is there a grapple point somewhere? Seems odd you would have me go up here. Please tell me it's not just for that sack. to jump this wall? No. What about this door? Can I open that door? Nope. No interaction with that door. Hmm. Okay. Let's see if there's anything useful in there. Probably just a spirit, right? Yeah, warrior spirit, though. Decent. What? What am I supposed to do here? I know you don't want me to, want me to walk across that little rope. Okay, I, I guess I will just jump over. Maybe, well, maybe this is it. Oh, I just had to turn up here. Okay, all right. That's on me for being a dum-dum. Yeah, that guy doesn't seem to be paying attention. So maybe... Nah. Watch it. Enjoy some of that. That didn't do much to you. Hmm. He was very resistant to that move. So what do you suppose that's supposed to be doing? Floating in the air <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, looks like I can just go way up. Dieu soit loué. It is such a blessing to see you safe and sound. This belongs to you. Bless you, whoever you are. You have our eternal gratitude. <clears throat> I believe you've met Monsieur Julien Raymond from distant Saint-Domingue. He's one of the most eminent members of our organization. And you, Mademoiselle? What should we call you? My name is Aegis. Ah, oh, yes. The Aegis. The mighty shield and scourge of Zeus. <sighs> I wonder, earlier by the Pont Neuf, when you touched Monseigneur's ring, can you explain what happened? The ring called to me. It compelled me to reach out and take it. Come now. The moment I touched it, I was transported somewhere else. It was the same strange world that you were in, Monseigneur. Hell, you mean? Or purgatory. I saw things there. I saw Monseigneur giving a sermon. What wickedness is this? 
This explains the moment when you froze. And this isn't the only time you've experienced something like this, Nespa. That is correct. It also happened with two objects I found in Plastophene. And what happened there? That is where I found your Bible and your cross, Monseigneur. How did you know they belonged to me? They demanded to be returned to you. You did not regain consciousness until I did so. This is madness. Let us not be so quick to judge, Monseigneur. I witnessed the moment when your cross was taken from you. Then I saw you being locked in that box. Eh bien, voilà. It is just as I suspected. Here, Aegis, look at this. Over the course of my research, I unearthed this ancient document. I believe I have finally uncovered its meaning. It's a triangle with an identical inscription at each corner. Nimi, memory in ancient Greek. Then in the center, there is an open eye which symbolizes awakening. Do you understand? The images you saw, Aegis, were Monseigneur de la Farge's own memories. Three echoes of the past tied to personal objects of his. Three Nimi's memories which some dark alchemy had taken from him. Without them, his mind would have remained lost, incomplete. He would never have regained consciousness. But by returning these three objects to him, Aegis, you were able to save his immortal soul. Tell me, Aegis, when you were at the clerk's office at the Châtelet, did you perhaps see a leather wallet near the abbot's documents? No, Monseigneur. Ah, that is unfortunate. Most unfortunate. Wh Why am I just running errands for these people? <laughs> I need my notes. I need my wallet. Okay. I was sent here, you know, not just to collect things, but Marie Antoinette had, had purpose for me. It is through the law and the law alone that we shall do away with the relics of the feudal regime and inequality between citizens. It will, however, be necessary to give this law the necessary weight that it may be enforced to supplant the barbaric prejudices and humiliating customs that currently prevail in our colonies. A mere list of these injustices will convince you that this is necessary. You must know that in Saint Domingue, Domingue, any person of color who dares to strike a white person, even if it is in response to a blow received from the latter, is punished with the utmost severity. The force of prejudice is such that the poor man is put to death without any colonist being moved by this flagrant iniquity. You must also know that a white man who feels he has been offended by a man of color is permitted to mistreat him with impunity without the judicial authorities paying any heed to the dispute between the two parties. Only the white man has the right to obtain redress. Monsieur, messieurs, uh, can I? Oh, I can't actually make it go down. Um, that's interesting. I want Julian Raymond. Is that an actual speech that he gave? Quite possibly. Uh, so let's see, if I speak to them, what am I, am I just gonna get some side quests? Monsieur Raymond. What is the aim of this organization? We publish articles and exert our influence on those who are in a position to improve the lot of our unfortunate brethren. Our numbers grow by the day, and we have many illustrious members, such as the Comte de Mirabeau and the Marquis de Lafayette. But it was Monsieur Brissot and the Abbot that founded the group. Good old Brissot. Shouldn't he be here by now? Yes, mon père. He should have arrived hours ago. Alas, there has been no sign of him. I hope to God that no misfortune has befallen him. What fate does the kingdom reserve for those with black skin? According to tradition, any enslaved person who sets foot on French soil is freed. This rule is most problematic in the eyes of planters in the colonies who would seek to maintain their precious labor force. This is why for the past 12 years, no black people have been allowed to disembark in any of the kingdom's ports. Those who accompany their masters on the journey are imprisoned in the Admiralty's jails the moment they leave the ship. As for those who manage to evade the authorities, they live in fear of the raids carried out by the Marshal Sea. Are you not subject to these laws, Monsieur Raymond? I am fortunate enough to have been born a subject of the king through my father, and also to have received an education, and to be wealthy. Naturally, that makes all the difference. You are quite a long way from home, Monsieur Raymond. 
I haven't been back to Saint Domingue in nearly five years. I left my most trusted men in charge of overseeing my indigo plantation. I came to France with the aim of having an audience with the king. I hoped to convince him to use his automats for agricultural work. I was of the belief that this was the best way to ease the suffering of our enslaved brethren. Alas, it was all for naught. I was only able to get an audience with the Minister of the Navy, and even that was granted reluctantly. Later, when the King convened the Estates General, my hopes were renewed. I saw it as an opportunity to make our voices heard. And then, mon Dieu, what a disaster, Aegis. What a complete disaster. Monseigneur, that other world where you were held prisoner, do you still feel its effects? This other world, as you call it, Igis, is none other than hell itself, Gehenna, the place the Lord sends those who worship the beast. But hell didn't keep me. Has God given me a chance to redeem myself, perhaps? What task did you entrust to the abbot? The Holy Office ordered me to keep an eye on the Comte de Cagliostro. This charlatan imagines himself to be the heir of Mesmer, the magnetizer, and seems to have ingratiated himself with the king. There have been disturbing reports about him that could lead to his excommunication. It is said that he can make the dead speak. Can you imagine? I asked the abbot to investigate the surroundings of Eugène de Vaucanson's workshop, where the Count had been seen coming and going for several weeks. I cannot disclose the details of what he discovered there, but it may well be related to the events that have plunged Paris into mourning. I bid you farewell, Monseigneur. Wait just a moment, s'il vous plaît. You are one of Cagliostro's creatures, are you not? What do you mean? When were you... When did you... awaken? I do not understand, Monseigneur. Well, well, that is to say, you talk, you think, you seem to act with some sort of free will. This was not always the case, that much is clear. You must agree that not all automates are as sophisticated as yourself. I am attempting to unravel the mystery of your true nature. Tell me, what are your very first memories? That is a question I am unable to answer. How strange. In that case, you must surely be able to tell me who taught you what you know. What I know, Monseigneur? Hmm. How can I put it in a way that you'll understand? For example, you call me Monseigneur. How do you know that this is how one addresses a member of the clergy of my rank? I cannot explain it. I believe... Go on, Aegis. I believe that this knowledge is not mine. Well, I never. Did you hear that, Abbot? I caught every word, mon ami. Okay, some interesting dialogue, but a, a lot of dialogue. Mon père. Plus tard, s'il vous plaît. I need a moment alone. I must read over my notes in light of what we have just discovered. Okay, fair enough. So what is it? Wait, I don't actually have an objective. I don't... I don't have an objective right now. Uh... Okay, Aegis must return to our horseless carriage and go to the Palais de Luxembourg. Okay, I need a, I do need to go to the uh, Luxembourg. Estates, okay, which is where my carriage is right there. That makes that easy enough. All right, let's drop down. See if I can't deal with this. Ah, uh, I could probably just bypass him, huh? Yeah, I have no interest in fighting him. Yeah, or you, <laughs> for that matter. All right, we're done with La Cité. We're out of here. Come on, enter the carriage. Still no new correspondence. I've only gotten the one so far. All right, let's travel. And we are going to Luxembourg, okay. I wonder how many zones there are. I'm hearing kind of conflicting stories of how long the game takes. 
So this will be this will be interesting to see how much I experience. I've I've heard only about eleven to fifteen, but other people have said they put in more than twenty and they haven't finished it. So I I really don't know. Maybe it's just a matter of how thorough you are with exploring, which would put me probably somewhere slightly uh, below Marseille average. Hopes <laughs> to have Eugène de Vaucanson released from prison. I must find him and help him convince the Comte de Provence. Okay, so right away, you can't do this. You just can't do this. Ugh. If there's one thing that I find so immersion breaking, it's useless, pointless, invisible, invisible walls. I get it. The carriage was just supposed to have come down the street, and now you don't want me to go that way, so you just slap an invisible wall. Come up with a better solution. Come up with a way to to convince me that I can't or shouldn't go that way. Otherwise, it's just gonna it's just gonna be very disappointing when I actually get there and can't do anything about it. Now, I just saw a gravel point. Oh, right there. Okay. And this is to go over there. Good, good. And then this is to what? <laughs> Why would I want to go up here? Ooh, that looks like a new enemy type, some sort of spider-like creature. Am I supposed to go... Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay. Noble spirit. So that way leads to the main quest. This is maybe a side quest. Oh, but this is also a way I can't go. Never mind. Never you mind. Well, let's go deal with the uh, spider. Oh, you are doing something to those other ones. What is it you are doing? Hmm, I have a feeling I have to deal with you before I can really do much to those. Okay. I've killed you. The other ones are nearly dead. Uh, let's focus on the one that's very close to death. There we are. Excellent. Oh, those aerial attacks. I have to use those more often. They're actually very, very useful. Okay. Oh, nice find right there. Ooh, improved flames. Okay, it's trying to draw me out with a shiny. Your grenades seem to work better than mine. Nope. Not playing that game. Okay, that was terrible. Get some endurance back. There it is, yeah. Those jump attacks, you can actually kind of dodge some some of their attacks, plus if you time it right, and by timing it, I... Oh, how do I get up there? Hold on, hold please. Um, by timing, yeah, I do really mean just actually letting yourself fall a little bit so you don't go above. Huh, all right. This is interesting. It might be some place I have to go much later. Because. Yeah. There's no open doors, but look, you actually have to jump across here to get to there. But how do you get to there in the first place? Hmm. I don't know. Is Am I missing something right here? No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna spend too much time. I didn't see anything that jumped right out, and I am more focused on just pushing forward a little bit, trying to get to the next vessel before I'm gonna wrap up this part. Okay, another one of those little spider creatures. Okay, let's charge this. 
Holy moly. Okay. Well, that almost killed, you know, your friend there. Um. Back up. Back. Right, can I, uh... Yes, that worked out. Oh, perfect. Hi, oh, you big, big dum-dum. That was awesome. Now, can I get you to uh, kill this one? Because I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> Did, ow. Did you just aim for him? Because it looked like you went out of your way to make sure he got hit. Oh, he actually just deflected that. Come on. Ah. Yes. Watch it. <laughs> Ow. Okay. It's all fun and game until he actually, you know, connects with me. All right. Ice time. Oh, wow. That is... That is rough. How about flames? You were on fire with one. That was just an awful attack on my part. Okay. Let's see if I can get behind. Okay. Oh. Wow, that was ooh, ooh, ooh. That continues to be a problem. Nope, back up, back up, back up. Yikes. And now I have that going, which means if he hits me, I'm pretty much dead. Watch it. Back up. Okay, I think I have enough health to survive. One. And finish. There we go. 750 essence, though. Decent cast iron. I need bronze. Okay. Another big guy that way, probably where I need to go. You, okay, I thought you actually got chopped by the gate. Kind of would have been a little funny. Not for you. Certainly not for you. Okay, petrification grenades. Probably should start, you know, busting those out again. And I guess I have to go towards the big guy, huh? Oh, got some music playing. Tell you what, let's get those on. How many? I have seven of them? Yeah. There we go. Although, I can sneak off this way. And that looks like another reveler of some sort. Okay, we're gonna wait till he does his little loop. Now, there's a good chance, a very, very good chance that there's gonna be another enemy just right around the corner. And this is just bait. I'm not going to be able to get a sneak attack. Don't even try it. Okay. Again. Yes, again. Burr. Oh. How did you... Did you actually counter that? Back it up. Alright. Uh, excuse me. Where was the input? Up? Whoa. So they can actually deflect that, by the way. Okay, here we go. There we go. Good finish, good finish. So... Was there not really a good reason to go over here? Unless... Okay. Alright, never mind. Never mind. This could lead to somewhere cool. Or it could just be an essence. <laughs> or it could be one oil vial. I guess this is just an alternate way of going? Oh, oh, or. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Alright, that's. That's okay. That's decent, because those are actually really, really strong. Oh, hi. What is that? What are you doing? I don't... 
Whoa! No, 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 no. Uh, you know what? You are on fire. You are not quite on fire. Now you're on fire. So I am going to, uh, I'm going to abuse this guy. By mostly helping him to... Hopefully kill this guy. Come on. No? One, two, three. And finish. Good. You're dead. Oh, watch it. Watch it. Big, big, big hit. Um, let's hit you again. Oh, I shouldn't. Don't waste him. Uh, I didn't have another one to waste. Watch it, watch it, watch it. You might actually just die from this. I think you will. If I'm patient, I think you're dead. <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know. It's going kind of slow. Oh, no, 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 no. That ought to do it, though, I think. Oh, it's not. It's going to be so close. There we are. All right. Well, still, it's working. It is working. No other places to explore, it seems. Come on, Vestal. A Vestal would be so welcome right here. Oh, there it is. Perfect timing. Perfect timing, all right. So on that note, we're gonna be a couple minutes shy and that is A-OK. -okay. I'm gonna call it a part there. Next time we will spend our essence, we will level up. Maybe do some upgrading if I can afford those stupid bronze alloys. <laughs> but that is going to do it. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying. If you have uh, had a chance to try this game out for yourself, let me know what you think in the comments below. But I will see you. Oh, let's do this one. Next time.